Happy October. This is a really fun time of year for me. I love to decorate. I love it when the weather gets a little bit colder. I also love it when the heat kicks on and just that smell comes back and it just reminds me of the holidays. This last September was really fun to be able to just have a few more autumnal pieces and make those transitions from like a summertime wardrobe into a more autumnal one. This video will have a lot of different pieces in it that are kind of for that season. Real quick though, I have a little giveaway for you guys. This is actually just something that was very accidental how it all came about. I've been wearing this Kate and Nelson watch for like all month long. I've been loving it so much. I actually talked about it in last month's favorite video. We got our wires crossed between me and Kate and Nelson. They actually sent me another one and I was like, what do I do with this extra watch? Like, do you guys want me to send it back? And they were like, no, it's fine. Just keep it. It's totally fine. And so I was like, well, to have one that's exactly identical is kind of cool to have on hand, but I'm not really going to use use it anytime soon. And so I just figured you guys might want to have it. So I'm going to be giving away this extra one that I have. It's already still in its case. It's really great if you just want to give it as a gift even. So to win the watch, all you have to do is follow me on Instagram. I'll be giving it to one of my Instagram followers. Actually, if you could leave your Instagram handle down in the comments below, that'll just allow me to write you guys privately through DMs on Instagram and tell you that you won. As a little bonus, just tell me like what your favorite thing was this past month. and something that made your life a lot better. Also, I can ship this thing worldwide, so no worries about that. Moving right along, I actually have this beautiful sweater that I've been wearing quite frequently. Like pretty much any time that I just want to lounge around my house or run an errand and not really get fully ready, I like to wear just this beautiful sweatshirt. It's from the brand Cotton. It's actually a cropped sweatshirt. I've actually been loving wearing Terry sweatshirts. It's just something really light and breathable while still keeping you warm, you know, with wind from actually penetrating make you cold. So it's really nice to wear a terry sweatshirt and I just loved the color of this one. It's also incredibly soft because it's made out of Egyptian cotton and it's actually 100% cotton. There's nothing else going on here in a sweatshirt. It's hard to find sweatshirts that have this level of like authentic fabrics, you know what I mean? Nothing like synthetic or anything. And I also really love what they wrote on the tag here. So just real quick, it's made in Egypt in partnership with local cotton farmers and a portion of this garment's proceeds go toward subsidizing their trade and providing scholarships to their children. I just think this thing is absolutely amazing and I feel really good about wearing it and I also love to just wear it with athleisure but I also like to dress it up with like skirts and stuff so yeah this has definitely been on my favorites list. So as you might know I live on the East Coast and we had a little hurricane so the month of September was very rainy just the whole time. We didn't get like the brunt of the hurricane like so many other people did. On the mountain where we live like there's really not a lot of danger here. Here. Actually, my cousin lives on the coast and she had to go through that. So definitely my heart is with people who went through that. But during all the rain, I actually had some pieces that I wanted to share that just made my life very livable during it. One is this Stutterheim raincoat. So they actually have a bunch of different colors and sizes. They have tons of sizes to choose from. But this one is the one that I went with. I loved the fact that it was just like a standard, very traditional classic raincoat. I liked going with a black version and I also liked getting one that wasn't too shiny or anything. Their sleeves are very, very long. So the model that I got is actually one that doesn't have sleeves that are extra long, but it still will cover my knuckles pretty much. That just keeps all the rain out. Like that's really the goal is not to get rain like up your sleeves or anything. So this has a really great hood. It's got a little drawstring, which that actually, I don't use the drawstring a ton, but it is really nice to just have a, the look of one. I think it adds a little bit something to the design of it. These are handcrafted actually, so that's really cool as well. And the design is very Swedish. It's very beautifully made authentically from there. So overall, I've been really impressed with this. I got it like last spring spring actually, but I've gotten the most use out of it in September. <laughs> to match my raincoat, I actually got some rain boots this past month. I'm really happy with these ones. These are the Alice and Whittles. They're more of a minimalistic black ankle boot and so I really liked the way that this one didn't come up really high. My rain boots that I had for maybe five years just 
broke and so it was really nice to get a replacement for those. When replacing them, I actually was looking for ones that were an ankle boot. I think that that looks a lot better when you're petite to be able to have something that doesn't hit you like mid knee, you know? So having something like this really works. I wanted to have, again, that like classic black color to match my raincoat and to not be too much because I could actually wear these and then not look like rain boots if I wear them with a different outfit. They make a lot of sense, you know, to be able to wear something that could pass for regular boots, but they're so practical as well. I also liked that the bottoms of them, which are a little bit worn and dirty and used right now, have these grooves in them, and so that gives you a little bit extra traction. The old ones that I had didn't have any traction at all, and that made a big difference. So yeah, I was super happy with these, got a lot of use out of them. Next, I've got a couple of more athletic things that I wanna share today. So the first thing is I looked high and low for a good pair of like running slash training shoes. These are the ones I went with. They are the Adidas Pure Boost Goes. I mean, seriously, I looked for maybe five hours for the right pair for the color that I wanted. Also for the type of things that I'll be doing in the shoes. I actually use the Sweat app by Kayla. I love that thing so much, but it's really hard to pick out the right pair of shoes for it. So I went with these ones because they have a lot of cushion to them. You pretty much have little trampolines in them. And I also was looking for something with the white on white look. So this is pretty close to what I had in mind. Overall, I've been really impressed with just the amount of support this one has. Also, for those of you who know that I love to go trail running, these babies are not going outside. I only wear these ones indoors when I'm actually doing circuit training. But yeah, you should see my trail running shoes. They are just completely covered in mud. <laughs> Next, I tried out a new brand for fitness. It's really hard to find like more ethical fitness stuff in general. And so Girlfriend Collective has been my go-to this month. They have amazing products. The way that they actually have ethical and sustainable initiatives is really just empowering and inspiring. So I have a couple of outfits from them that are full workout outfits, but they're pretty much exactly the same, just different colors. And so I've got the bra and the leggings, and I also have like this cute ballerina top that I can wear too. I talked through it a little bit in a few videos past, so you might recognize it. I also just was really impressed that when it arrived it came in this cute little bag so each outfit came in the bag and it just says girlfriend on it girlfriend collective and it's got this beautiful color and so that was just like a really fun unexpected way anytime brands do that it just feels really good you know also it has this gold zipper on the top which just seems so much more luxe than a regular zipper <laughs> so I'll put more details about how they actually make their products for girlfriend collective in the description below but just really briefly the the bra and the leg are actually made out of recycled water bottles. It doesn't feel like anything that would be made out of that. It's really strong and durable, and I've just been really impressed by them overall. So I actually ran out of face moisturizer this past month. I was trying to just find stuff I could use that I had like in my cabinet that would remotely resemble moisturizer, and that failed miserably. So I actually bought some, and I actually restocked. So this is the Kate Somerville Exfolicate Glow Moisturizer, and I decided to buy this because I tried a little tiny sample bottle of it and I loved it. I didn't tell you guys that I was using it, but I actually got a lot of compliments saying how good my skin was and what do I use for my skin while I was using it. So I knew I was onto something. So I went ahead and got this one and I was surprised to see how much bigger it was than my sample version. So overall, I've been really impressed. I love Kate Somerville. It's one of my favorite brands. Next, something really festive that I got are these little tiny cinnamon broomsticks. You know, it's one thing to be able to burn candles. I just did a candle haul video, but it's even better if I can walk through my door and just have my home smelling really good. And so I got a few of these. Anytime that I like walk past wherever this is, it just smells so good to be able to have your home smell like cinnamon. And so I put a few of these like on my door handles, on little, little like hooks and crannies, hooks and, <laughs> You guys get the point. So I ended up getting a few of these and I just really loved it. Finally, I just wanted to talk through some of the things I've been watching and reading that were really good. One is this book. I've had it on my bookshelf forever, never read it. And so it's called The Luminaries. And I actually got the audiobook too because I just love the experience of reading 
and listening at the same time. I just really like it. It's, it's got a little bit of a theme to it with astrology. If you're into astrology, you might really like this book. And I'm really only about 100 pages into it, so I don't know which turns it's going to take, but that's what I've been reading. And you can always follow me on Goodreads. If you really wanna talk about books, that is where to go for that. So I'll leave a link in the description where you guys can find me there. But yeah, overall, this has been really an interesting read. It's a bit of a crime mystery type of thing. Also, the cover, is just really something that I would love to display and have out at any moment. You might already know this by now, but I absolutely love to watch PBS. <laughs> I'm really sorry if that sounds ridiculously nerdy, but it's just the truth. But honestly, their shows have been so good lately, especially anything by Masterpiece. I actually got into this one show called The Miniaturist. It's based in Amsterdam around the 1600s where this girl actually comes and she has just newly married someone and she's having lots of marital issues and she's trying to adapt to this new upper scale lifestyle. She's given this little place that's a replica of where she lives and she has to actually hire someone to build little tiny things for her. Those little tiny things are something that becomes really revealing to whatever's gonna happen, almost like a warning sign. And she tries to tell him, don't send me any more things, it's really creeping me out. <laughs> They say that back in the 1600s. <laughs> but honestly, it was a really good show with lots of twists and turns, and I just loved the aesthetics, like the scenery, how they dealt with lighting and stuff was very inspiring. Real quick, finally, I have one more show, which is Lords and Ladles. I found it on Netflix. It's like a mix of Downton Abbey and Great British Bake Off. If you combine those two, that's what Lords and Ladles is. It's basically just a way where they go to these old houses in Ireland, you know, by houses, I mean giant castles and they do lots of research on what they used to cook back in the day and so they host this big banquet and they create all the old recipes revive these castles and it's just really cool to watch so that's pretty much all that happened in my month and i hope that you guys had a really good september and i'll see you guys next time bye